Hello, friends. Cats are some of the most common pets on Earth. But make no mistake, they are not the cute and harmless animals that they appear to be. Firstly, any cat is by nature a predator and a ruthless killer. Secondly, in pursuit of an exotic pet, don't forget that not all cats, even those of the most expensive breeds, are affectionate and harmless. Here is one of the most dangerous, formidable, and effective predators on the planet. This is the black-footed cat. It manages to catch prey more often than tigers. This cat is imperceptibly fast, cruel, and insidious. For all its toughness, it's one of the smallest predators on the planet. This cat is 200 times lighter than a lion, and even three times smaller than an ordinary domestic cat. Its small dimensions, however, do not prevent it from being a real menace for its prey. For gophers and rabbits, this cat is a living nightmare. What's more is that this predator can catch a wild hare or a baby antelope, meaning that it can overcome prey several times larger than itself. If the lion was capable of such a feat, it would be able to single-handedly take out an adult elephant. Its huge, expressive eyes, small face, and smooth coat immediately invoke the image of the elite breeds of domestic cats. However, this formidable predator is not directly related to any of them. I do not envy the prey that the black-footed cat pursues. Animals that are 10 times its size can become part of its menu. The black-footed cat is sometimes even called the termite lion because it can destroy termite mounds and kill several hundreds insects, despite the soldier insects that even hyenas find frightening. The small size of the black-footed cat is actually to its advantage. Its habitat has a lot of low-growing bushes and grasses. The animal's small size and camouflage make it literally invisible. At the same time, the cat's sharp vision allows it to notice prey way before it has noticed itself. It also gives it time to calculate the perfect jump trajectory. In this way, the black-footed cat is able to catch birds that evade other predators. The rusty spotted cat is the smallest animal in the wild cat family. Even as an adult, it looks like a kitten with its tiny elongated body, small paws, and cute face with huge expressive eyes. It visually resembles a domestic cat, but it is half its size. At the same time, it is a true predator that lurks in the jungles of Asia searching for prey in the impenetrable thickets. This predator lives in Sri Lanka. The rusty cat, as it is also known, is a very successful and tough predator, despite its modest size. For birds, lizards, and small rodents, this predator is a real nightmare. This is the case not only because of the lightning speed of its attack, but also because of its ability to hunt in almost complete darkness. Its night vision is very sharp, even by feline standards, and surpasses most of its relatives. After the rusty cat spots its prey, it immediately rushes to attack. The goal is to kill it with a single bite at the base of the skull. The cat spends most of its time on the ground. When necessary, it jumps over streams. A rusty cat can jump a distance three times longer than its own body. It climbs trees with ease, but rarely stays there longer than absolutely necessary to hunt or to escape from a larger and stronger enemy. Unfortunately, this charming, cautious, and brave animal is endangered. There are no more than 10,000 individuals left in the wild. The fishing cat, that is its official name, which perfectly describes the animal's lifestyle. This predator spends most of its life on the shores of reservoirs where it searches for snakes, lizards, birds, and sometimes attacks other small animals like rodents. 
but about 90% of the cat's diet consists of fish. It is able to catch it thanks to its strong paws and curved claws. The fishing cat is far superior to any other members of the cat family that we discussed. This cat is also much more muscular and stronger than most of the other animals of its size. Perhaps swimming turned it into a real athlete. The thing is that this cat not only catches fish while swimming with its head above water, it can actually also dive fairly deeply. Its eyes are perfectly suited for this. In addition, the cat can hold its breath for a relatively long period of time, which is more than enough to catch a fish. The ability to dive safely is pretty unusual in the cat family. If you think that it is the harsh conditions that hardened small cats and made them mini terminators compared to sweet house cats, then believe me, it is not so. Physically, domestic cats are almost indistinguishable from their wild relatives. But domestic cats have more opportunities to utilize a favorite feline hunting tactic sneaking and ambushing. The modern urban landscape is the perfect setting for cats to show off their abilities. For example, domesticated cats are able to push off one wall and jump to another. In this way, they can end up on the roof of a three-story building in a matter of seconds. Most often, domestic cats use one simple hunting tactic. They sneak up on the victim, after which they grab it with their paws or beat it with their claws. Curved claws are great to use as hooks. In addition, their fast reactions, agility, and ability to concentrate are also an important advantage. All this makes them able to easily catch birds on the fly. After the prey is fixed in its place, it is time for the teeth to do the work. The life of a city cat is not as simple as it might seem at first glance. When it leaves the house, the cat finds itself in a concrete jungle. Domestic cats have their own territory just like lions in the distant savanna. They mark its borders, guard it, and protect it from intrusion. The largest land area belongs to adult males. Smaller areas belong to females. Fights between cats over territory can become extremely aggressive. And finally, I want to tell you about the monul, a representative of a separate genus of cats. Its body length is approximately that of a large domestic cat. However, it has much denser muscles, very long fur, a short tail, muscular paws, and an almost square head. This animal lives in the mountains, for example, in Tibet. It also loves rocky regions and vast expanses. Because of its flat face, short nose, square head, and long hair that resembles a beard, the Manu gives off the impression of being a very intelligent and even wise animal. Perhaps it is precisely because of such an original appearance and expressive eyes that many people mistake Manuls for a breed of domestic cats. They sometimes even try to keep them as pets. This, however, is unacceptable since the Manu cannot be tamed. Approximately half of them exhibit innate aggression towards humans even if they are raised in captivity from birth like a domestic cat. Under domestic conditions, the animal's immunity and overall health suffers greatly. When it comes to the cat's lifestyle, it loves to ambush but hates to chase even for short distances. This is the case because of its unique physique. Approximately half of its diet consists of pickas and relatives of hares. In general, however, the monul is not picky. It preys on birds, rodents, and other animals of appropriate size. If you force the monul to fight, it will defend itself desperately, furiously, and very unusually. Most cats prefer to stand on their hind legs and attack the enemy with their front paws. The monul, on the contrary, prefers to lie on its back and use all four clawed paws against the enemy. It uses them to literally tear the aggressor apart and force it to retreat. Another reason not to have them as pets. Friends, that's all for today. Like the video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.